Hi everyone, so today I'm going to talk to you about my first ever practice photo shoots. Let's talk about it. So welcome back to the channel everyone and if you're new here my name's Daryl and this channel is all about my journey through photography both in the analog world and the digital world. So um, if you like this content please leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below if you ever have any questions regarding any of the topics that I'm sharing in my videos and I'll be happy to get back to you. So today's video and like the title says, um, I want to talk a little bit about um, my first ever practice photo shoots. Since in the last, <clears throat> in the last maybe month or so, I've definitely started to um, lean more towards portrait photography. I just really like that style of shooting. I've never been really quite good at the landscape stuff, but um, even just around the house, like taking shots of my wife and the kids and um, I definitely like that style of photography. So because I wanted to try and get as much practice as I could, luckily my wife is very very helpful. She's always down for taking a few photos and because um, she's on it, she's on Instagram quite a lot now. She wanted a few pictures that she could share on her Instagram page. Now the photos that I'm going to show you here were taken on my um, Nifty 50, my Canon 50mm 1.8 STM lens, which I've showed you before on my Canon 5D videos. Now, it may look a bit weird, and um, that's because it has the lens hood still on it. Um, but this is an absolutely fantastic lens for the price of it. I've used it so much with my Canon 5D, it's great just even for like a walking round lens, like it's great for any kind of shot really. But here's a few um, examples from my first ever shoots with my wife using this lens. enjoyed this shoot um, it was quite fun um, though it was really late, <laughs> late at night uh, like most of my videos are all shot and edited probably during during the night time when the kids are asleep though today um, I'm actually got some time during the afternoon to try and record some of this footage so let me know what you think of the pictures um, I think they turned out quite well the, the Canon 5D as I've said before the colors out of this sensor or just something else like um, some of these photos um, I probably didn't even need to do any kind of um, editing in Lightroom to them other than just a sort of quick um, change of the exposure and stuff but I just threw on um, a couple of presets that I wanted to try out um, so please comment and let me know what you think. The next set of photos that I'm going to show you um, were like part two of my um, photo shoot with my wife um, she wanted to do more daytime shots as well and um, those last shots were just taken um, in, us, in our house and on the stairs with really really low light so we just had the the lights from the ceiling and I have a, a really cheap uh, ring light as well that I sort of had to get as close to her as I could I think I was shooting those at maybe 640 ISO and um, at probably about f2 maybe with the lens so um, luckily we got a good day on Saturday there and we went out to the walled garden. At the same time that day as well, um, I got a delivery in the post. I had decided to order myself the um, Canon 85mm 1.8 uh, ultrasonic lens. And I've, I've always wanted a 85mm lens, especially for portrait photography. And um, now I ordered this one second hand and it was probably on I was about 260 pounds. These next photos were all taken with this. Uh, I believe I shot it at uh, 50 ISO or the ISO L on the Canon 5D and it was at f2.8.
that's a few of those pictures. Um, again, comment down below and let me know what you think. Um, they, they were edited just the same way in Lightroom, just a quick um, correction of the exposure or the contrast. And then I've decided to throw on a few um, presets onto it as well. I want to, I need to try and practice my colour grading a bit more on Lightroom, um, which I'm definitely going to look into as well. Definitely the 85mm 1.8, if you want to get into portrait photography at a decent price, I would highly recommend this lens. Once I have a few more pictures, I might do a bit more of an in-depth review of it as well. Those were all um, with my wife, though I still I kind of wanted to practice a bit more with other people. Um, so I kind of put out a, a shout out to a few different places on Facebook and Instagram just to see if anyone would be up for doing some practice shoots. Um, just so I, like, I wouldn't charge them and, and I would give them all the pictures as well for free. So luckily um, one of my best friends Erin also um, reached out to me and said she'd be interested. So that same day we were doing the shots with Hannah. Um, I um, Aaron met me there as well and again we were using this setup so the Canon 5D with the 85mm and I think it turned out really nice. Um, it's definitely very nervous like even though she's one of my best friends it was still kind of you needed that time at the start to kind of warm up um, and just kind of relax a bit um, and understand what your, the person you're shooting, what kind of shots they like, what kind of poses they like as well. So what we found as well to help us relax was just to kind of um, tell a few funny stories that we've had together and that seems to sort of make everything a bit more relaxed and enjoyable as well. So here's a few of those shots as well um, and you can let me know what you think in the comments below. I've also had uh, another model as well reach out to me and um, from one of the Facebook pages that would like to do a practice shoot with me as well. So I'm very excited but again still nervous and um, it's the, the posing part of it for me is kind of still all new to me so I've got a few example poses and stuff that I'd like to try and hopefully um, as I progress even I can learn from the models as well. Um, but we'll see, it's all, all a learning curve. Um, if you want, um, comment down below and tell me about your experiences as well. I'd be really keen to learn from you all as well and any tips or tricks you have. So that's all for this week's video guys. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video and liked some of the pictures that I took. Um, I hope to really keep pursuing this as well. Um, not just digitally but um, with film as well and hopefully in the near future as well I'll be starting to practice some street photography as well um, and I'll share my experience with that with you as well. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe guys and I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you again soon. Bye!